hard to believe that it's connected to a demonic dwarf legend. He ended up murdering her, hacking her into little pieces right here. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Amy's Crypt. Tonight I'm going to take you for a walk around Wrocław in Poland. We're going to visit the site of a gruesome murder and explore a creepy urban legend that involves a demonic elf-like creature. Alright guys, so I'm in the main town square of Old Town and this is supposedly where our murder site and haunted location um, exists. I don't actually know where it is so we're going to have to kind of have a look around. I did want to maybe do a little uh, investigation piece but it seems really busy here so unfortunately I don't think we might get the chance unless we're able to hang around till late. But let's just walk around and see if we can find it. Sorry about the noise, but I am at the location of our supposed gruesome murder. Directly behind me are two tall, skinny townhouses that date back to the Middle Ages. They are connected to one another by an archway in the middle and have been nicknamed Hansel and Gretel. People say that these are the most romantic buildings in the city because that archway represents two lovers holding hands, though these buildings have a very dark story to go with them. I thought Hansel and Greta were brother and sister. Yeah, I think they were. So that's kind of weird. Um, maybe it's like love and not lovers. I don't know. <laughs> that's so weird. <laughs> Anyway, Jared, thank you so much for the little interruption there. The first noteworthy, creepy thing about these two buildings and the archway is that they are supposedly built directly over an old cemetery. There is a little inscription right at the top of the archway that reads, Mors in Ianua Vitae, death is the gate to life. Although that is quite creepy, it doesn't relate to the gruesome murder that supposedly happened here. Legend has it that there was a demonic dwarf residing in St. Elizabeth's Church, which is directly behind these two townhouses. This dwarf possessed the grandson of a woman who lived in this vicinity. He ended up murdering her, hacking her into little pieces right here. This woman was butchered so badly and the murder was so gruesome. Many believe that her soul has been trapped here. And a lot of people to this day claim to hear her wails and shrieks of pain in the area. Although it's quite busy tonight, so I don't think we're going to hear anything as such except wails and shrieks from all of the drunk people hanging out at the nearby pubs and bars. <laughs> Just behind me is St. Elizabeth's Church and it's a really big place and it's a really beautiful building so it's hard to believe that it's connected to a demonic dwarf legend. So another cool thing about Wrocław is that they have these little bronze statues of what they call the Wrocław Dwarves all over the city. They're almost like little elves or little gnomes and there's hundreds of them. They're everywhere. They're themed to the businesses that they're in front of or they have some kind of meaning behind them, whether it's political. But they're really cool. They're like a very unique art installation. They are not related at all to the de de demonic... <laughs> 
demonic elf that I spoke about from our urban murder urban legend. They're very cool and me and Jared kind of got into a little competition where it's almost like a game who can spot the most of these little dwarves and I think that I can beat him. I spotted the first three. Yep, no, I spotted them. No, I did. Okay, we're not going to count the first three, which we just spotted over here, but I definitely spotted right, them. Alright, starting from <laughs> now. Alright, let's go find some. <laughs> Yes, I found the first one. I'm winning. I hate you, my friend. Hey, Jared. I just found one that's wonderful. Jared hates it. <laughs> On the corner. <laughs> you did too. Wait, I got two. No. That's a mini one. Yes, that's a that mini one. That doesn't count. That's an elf taking a photo of an elf. I get two of them. Is that really an elf? Yes. Oh my god, it is. That's two. Two for Jared. Yeah, Team Jared. So Jared found one of this ball. Yeah. Thing is winning. Yes. Guess what? There's one on the other side. Oh. Ting, ting, ting. <laughs> so Jared just told me that today when he was looking up these little gnomes online, he found out that during the winter months, locals come through and put little knitted sweaters and hats on them, and I just think that's the cutest thing. <laughs> I think I have spotted one. This is a fat one. He's got the fattest little belly. <laughs> That's got to be the best one. That's got to count for more than one point, right? No. <laughs> All right, I got another one. Jared didn't even spot this one. What's the score? I don't know. I Can think it's like 7-4 or something. No, 6-4. 7-4. Either way, I'm killing you. So I don't have great eyesight and I thought I spotted another gnome, but it's just an empty alcohol bottle. <laughs> I just spotted another one, which I think is a multi-score. Because it looks like there's a few. There's two. Jared! Found one. Jared's walking off. I don't even think he's trying anymore. because he's like a little drunk guy. <laughs> I also feel like I'm playing some weird Pokemon game where I have to catch all of the elves. Uh, what is this? This isn't a gnome. <laughs> this one doesn't count. Plus, if it did, I found it. It doesn't count. <laughs> it's a, I think it's a sun bear. The long tongue. You know 
what guys, I reckon I've got at least 10 of these guys on my counter. Jared, poor effort, sorry to say, but I think I'm gonna declare myself the winner. Thank you so much for exploring Wrodsworth with me. I hope that you enjoyed this video, learning about the spooky places here, as well as hunting for the little gnomes all around the city. If you did enjoy it, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you're after a bit more reading on haunted places, head to amyscrypt.com. And remember guys, until next time, stay spooky.